Hi, this is Charlie Zeese with Only PVC Pyramids. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the ABCs of pyramid geometry. When I started looking at and getting delving into pyramids several years ago, uh, I was overwhelmed and confused by all the angles and lengths and ratios and so forth. And uh, I'm sure some of you still are, uh, and I'm still learning a lot of this too as we go. But I thought I'd go over today the uh, the basics of the uh, pyramid geometry so that you can feel more comfortable uh, as, as a consumer in knowing when somebody says uh, what a height to base length ratio is or what a slant angle is or whatever, what that actually means. So uh, let's get started. Now to start with, we're gonna look back at the, uh, the thumbnail that I had up today for, uh, for this video uh, to discuss a couple of the angles and the basic concepts on that page. The top of the pyramid is always called, uh, it's called either the apex or the vertex, usually the apex. Um, a side, a vertical side of the pyramid is called a face. And the bottom uh, part of the pyramid, which is on the ground, is called the base. Uh, the height of the pyramid is figured from the ground up to the apex. And then the final important piece of information on this uh, uh, page is the slant height. And you can see that the slant height um, goes from the apex of the pyramid down to the middle of each side of the, the uh, base of the pyramid. So with that in mind, uh, I've pulled up a couple of the pages from the uh, study I did on the sacred geometry of Russian pyramids to go over uh, some of these important ratios and degree angles uh, for you. We're gonna start with the Golden Pyramid. Um, if you look at the uh, diagram on the bottom right-hand corner, you're gonna see 72 degrees, uh, and that's uh, at, at point A. Uh, that is the uh, angle called, that's called the slant angle of the pyramid. And for a Golden Pyramid, that is uh, 72 degrees. Now, as those of you who remember your geometry, you know that you've only got 180 degrees in a, uh, in a triangle. So when you multiply 72 times two, which because you're gonna have the same angle at, uh, because this is an equilateral triangle, uh, the same angle in angle B, you get 144 degrees. You subtract that from 180, and that gives you the apex angle of 36 degrees that shows up at the top of the Golden Pyramid. So those are the basic angle uh, uh, representations in two dimensions. Uh, the base length of a pyramid runs, in this case, from point B to point A, and in this case is uh, two. The height of the pyramid, which runs from point C to point D, is um, 3.078. And the slant height of this pyramid uh, runs from point C to point A is 3.326. Now an important ratio to remember is the ratio of slant height to base length, which in the case of the Golden Pyramid, that's why we've highlighted in this case, is phi or 1.618. So again, you determine that by taking the slant height from point C to A of 3.326 and dividing that by two, and you get a ratio of slant height to base length of phi. And now we'll go over the same information on the Nubian Pyramid. You'll see there that the slant height is slightly higher at 72.828 degrees. You multiply that by two and subtract it from 180, and you get the apex angle of 34.345 degrees. And in this case, the base length, once again, is two from point C to B. The height of the pyramid from point A to D is 3.326. And the slant height from point A to point C is 3.387. Now in this case, uh, another significant ratio, and one that is probably even more common than the ratio of uh, edge height to base length, is the one found in the Nubian to have the phi relationship, and that's the ratio of height to base length. But interestingly enough, w whether you have the ratio of height to base length or the ratio of um, edge height to base length, if you have those two, that ratio in, in, 
available to you, you can determine the rest of the dimensions of a pyramid in three dimensions, uh, as we outlined in a recent video on how to determine uh, the dimensions of a build it from scratch Russian pyramid. Now we're going to take that two dimensional information and expand it to three dimensions. So we are, uh, this is the uh, page that I use to calculate my three dimensional pyramids, 1728.org uh, forward slash vault pyramid dot htm uh, shown at the top of this page. Now we see that in this case, we're calling the top of the pyramid the vertex. Uh, we're going to see the slant height that we talked about in two dimensions running down the middle of the side of the pyramid. And we're going to see the slant angle that we were talking about again in the middle of the pyramid uh, is where that is calculated. But now we've expanded the geometry of the pyramid into three dimensions. So we have different angles and different heights uh, that deal with the edges of the pyramids in three dimensions. So as opposed to a slant height in two dimensions, we discuss the edge height of a pyramid in three dimensions, which is the height of the pyramid, the length of the point from the edge of the, uh, or the corner of the pyramid in three dimensions up to the apex or vortex. And also uh, we have the um, uh, edge uh, angle of the pyramid, which runs uh, from the center of the pyramid over to the edge of the pyramid as opposed to the uh, slant angle of the pyramid. So once you take it from two dimensions to three dimensions, we end up with some different results, obviously. So in the final page, just to go over some of this uh, information in summary, uh, what I've done is to take a pyramid uh, which is going to use the 76.345 uh, slant angle that we determined for the uh, five spiral pyramid of the Russian uh, geometry. And we're going to uh, calculate that based upon the height to base length ratio. The base length of 10 can be multiplied by 2.058761 uh, to develop a height of 20.581761. And when we hit the calculate button, we get all of the other angles uh, and height uh, dimensions uh, that we uh, need to develop a three-dimensional pyramid. And in that case, uh, we have the edge height, which is 21.763, and that uh, is in distinction to the slant height, which is the height in the middle of the pyramid, uh, of 21.18, again, slightly longer, than that uh, of the uh, slant height. And then we also have the edge angle of 71.039, which is quite a bit different than the slant angle of 76.345 degrees. That's calculated when you do it in two dimensions in the middle of the pyramid. So I know it's a little complicated, but what you, if you're looking to determine uh, for example, the, uh, the length of your, your base pieces, uh, the base length is the proper calculation, but you need to look at uh, a pyramid in three dimensions to get the appropriate uh, length of the uh, edge pieces or vertical pieces, and that comes from the edge height rather than the slant height, which we calculate in two dimensions. So there's lots more that we can go over, but those are the key ratios, angles, and dimensions that you need to be concerned about. If you find that you still have questions about this information, please feel free to call me. But as always, we thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube page and visit us on our website, onlypvcpyramids.com. Tell your friends about Only PVC Pyramids. We thank you for watching, and you have a great day.